Morning class, uh, welcome to another lesson today. Uh, today I'm introducing more of a project because this week is St. Patty's Day, uh, so we won't have class on Wednesday. Um, so instead what we're doing is a week long project. Now I know last week I introduced something called a project, but that was more of just an assignment. This will take you a bit more time, um, but I'm giving you the whole week to do it. Um, so I'll, I'll make this due on Friday on the, the Google Classroom. Um, so, but I wanted to make a quick video because it might be a bit daunting at first. Um, but so that's why I've, uh, I'm going to make this video. I'm going to walk you through it. Um, and that way, um, you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing um, when it comes to this assignment. Um, so the idea is building your own organism. And organisms we know are living things. So anything uh, that is a living thing, we will call an organism in this class. Um, so what you're going to do is at home, using anything you have at home, um, you are going to design your own original um, plant, animal, organism, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be um, an animal. It could be a plant. Um, what you can do, um, you can mock it up and uh, you know draw it out and then use um, simple materials to... to to kind of create this, you can use, I've included a link here to just an online uh, paint. You can draw it in, uh, uh, and, and uh, turn it in that way. Uh, I think it's more fun to design it. And what I've done is I have designed my own here. Oh, come here. Um, so this is mine. I kind of threw this together um, today. Honestly, it took me about 20 minutes. So I'm not expecting you guys to spend a huge amount of time on this part. Um, all I've done is I've taken things that you probably have at home too. Um, so an old Coke can here, as you can see, some tin foil, uh, aluminum foil, and then I just had these wooden sticks lying around, um, and I designed an animal. Um, I call it the aluminum because I use a lot of aluminum foil. Um, and so let me walk you through kind of what we need to do with this, right? Um, so one of the things we need to do if we take a look back at our um, kind of sheet here we need to design and build a giant monster right so that was this first one i've done that i've used simple materials to bot papers bottles sticks whatever you can go out into your garden maybe throw some leaves on it whatever you like um, label your organisms different parts so I haven't written it out, and that's something you guys will need to do is on a separate sheet or something, write out the organism's different parts. But I can tell you right now, um, so obviously it's got six legs here. So these individual wooden pegs here, oh, let me switch back here. So these wooden pegs here are its legs, yeah? Um, it's got an aluminum shell, and I, I use the term shell lightly, let's say aluminum outer layer. Um, and then it's got its mouth here, or no, sorry, it doesn't. That doesn't actually, no. So that's that's its parts mainly. Oh, sorry, it has its eyes here. So as you can kind of see, it's got these green eyes. So I have four eyes, and then it has these other spots that um, in the animal kingdom would say that maybe it's like poisonous or something. It's got colorful spots on it. So I've labeled some parts. Let's go back to our sheet here. Um, Describe how your organism survives. How do does the parts you gave it help it breathe, eat, and move, etc.? So, what I've done is I've thrown together a sheet here. I'll bring it over. Uh, so I've given it a name. I've only I've written out small bits here. So what I've done is it filter feeds through its leg holes. So I've described how it eats. So as you can kind of see in the aluminum foil there, there's some holes. And what it does instead of using a mouth, it just kind of uh, sucks in. It's an it's an aquatic creature. It lives at the bottom of the ocean. So that's another way I've described it. And at the bottom of the ocean, a lot of animals will kind of instead of eating like we normally would, uh, it feeds through maybe like pores or it just kind of siphons the water. And that's kind of what this one does. It's through these leg holes here, as you can see. Um, it, uh, it it sucks in the water and eats really small things rather. So that's how I would describe um, something about how it eats. How it moves, obviously it uses its legs to move. They kind of like wiggle a little bit. It moves pretty slowly along, up, across the floor, but that's how it moves. Um, and then how it eats, I described that. And then whatever else, and then also maybe something I would say is that it's outer shell. So it's outer core or outer layer aluminum 
is there because um, it needs to be really strong because if something lives at the bottom of the ocean, it needs to be really strong because there's a lot of water pushing down on it, right? There's a lot of pressure. So it has this outer shell to kind of help it survive. Okay, so that's um, number three. Number four, use the flow chart to describe the kingdom, family, and class you built your organism will fall into. Um, so let me show you what I mean. So below, if you scroll down in this, and I'll upload this document, um, we have this whole giant flow chart here, right? And so you just start at the top. Does it move from one place to another? Well, I described it does move, right? It has legs. So we say, yes, animal. Um, does it have a backbone? Uh, if you were to look inside of this thing, I'm going to take off the cap very gently. Ooh, take off the cap. We're going to give it a quick x-ray real quick. If you look inside there, yes, the legs are kind of poking through, but there is no backbone, right? No backbone. No backbone at all. Yeah? Sorry, I'm looking. I, I know I'm looking over here. That's where my, my camera is, or my, my screen is. Okay. So it doesn't have a backbone. Ooh, ooh. Excuse me. One second. Okay. Um, so no backbone. So we keep scrolling down, go over to note. So now we know it's an invertebrate, right? It's an invertebrate. Um, has it got a shell? Um, I, now I know I said that this outer aluminum layer is a shell. It's not, sorry, I, I used the incorrect term. I'm not going to say this is a shell. I'm just going to say it's its outer layer. So no, it doesn't have a shell. A shell would be like, imagine a snail shell or um, something like that. That's what it means by shell. Um, so no, it doesn't. So then we go down to the next question. Has it got six legs? Very clearly it does. Therefore, yes, it is an arthropod. So um, that's what I mean by using this flow chart to figure out whether it's um, an arachnid, an arthropod, a fish, a bird, a plant. You might design a plant. Who knows? Um, but that's okay. Um, and then uh, what uh, sort of environment would the organism be found in? How does it adapt its environment either as a predator or as a prey? Um, and then I even gave a hint. Not all plants are necessarily, if you decide to go with a plant, um, it doesn't have to be a, a, a prey. Prey is something that's eaten or um, uh, is eaten by other things. So plants can be prey by, you know, they're eaten by herbivores or things that eat plants. But they also be predators because they, you know, Venus flytraps, they prey on flies. Uh, but anyways, so what sort of environment would the organism be found in? So if we go back to my organism here, I already described it's found at the bottom of the ocean. Um, it filter feeds, so it eats, it's a, it, 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 it preys upon small organism, but mainly it's a prey because it's probably, it's pretty slow, um, so it's probably eaten up pretty quickly by bigger organisms. Now it has its outer shell, so that might protect it a little bit, but, you know, it's probably similar to a crab in ways, and, you know, crabs get eaten all the time. So, um, I know I didn't write all that stuff down, um, but... What my expectation is for you guys is that you do. So not only are you going to build your organism like I did here, I'm gonna put this way down, you're also going to fill out a sheet. Um, you're gonna answer all of these questions uh, from two to five, because one is just asking you to build it. From, so from two to five should all be on its own sheet. And if I scroll down, um, as I scroll down, you'll notice that there's some, it's like a cheat sheet, right? So it kind of helps you. So it tells you insects are invertebrates. It tells you about insects again. So if you ever needed to look back on what makes an insect an insect, or sorry, that should say arthropod. I'll change that. Arthropod. Arth arthropod. Um, arachnids, and ma uh, what makes a bird a bird, a mollusk a mollusk, and so on and so forth. Okay? Um, and even if you want, so if you wanted to make um, an invertebrate that wasn't a mollusk, arachnid, or arthropod, we went through a bunch of them on Wednesday of last week. Um, if you wanted to to make something that was like uh, an annelid or uh, anything else that we went through, an echinoderm, something like that, that's fine. Just make sure you're adhering to um, their characteristics, and you might have to go back into the other video to do that. Um, so as I scroll down here, it, it, like I said, cheat sheets, if you decide to make a plant, all you really have to do is figure out whether it's a flowering or non-flowering plant. Um, it gives you some exam examples of flowering and non-flowering, so algae, uh, conifers, ferns, stuff like that. Uh, 
But then at the very bottom, and I'll, up, uh, I'll, I'll probably upload this as a separate document, is a rubric. So this is what you need to do to get full marks for this project, okay? So um, you need to put in a decent amount of creativity, effort, and design. So for all four points, uh, show an excellent amount of effort put into the creation of the organism with creativity as well. I would, I'm not, my level here isn't really going to be too high. Like if it looks something like this, if you put in some thought and some effort, I, I give you a four. Uh, there's really there's really not going to be much of an in-between here. It's either going to be a four, maybe if I see it put a little bit of effort, but not a, not quite enough, might be a two. Um, and then a one would really be you just kind of showed up with a bottle um, and tried to fudge your way through it. That's not going to count, okay? So that's number one. Number two, labeling of the organism. Did you label the organism? Basic, basic uh, pretty easy, uh, but... It's all about the clarity. Um, if I need to ask you a question about, okay, where is this label pointing to, or it seems like you missed the label here, that's how you're gonna miss marks on this, okay? Um, if, I, if, I, if I see the, 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 the labeling and I'm like, okay, that makes sense, I don't need to ask you any questions about it, that's a four. Uh, classification into its taxonomic rank. Um, were you able to uh, rank it carefully all the way down from kingdom and then, um, from kingdom, phylum, and class. Those are the three big ones. Um, I'm not really gonna expect you to go all the way down to genus. If you do, maybe I'll give you some bonus points, who knows. Um, but like I said, uh, the kingdom, phylum, and class should all be one of uh, you know the specific ones. So kingdom, is it an animal or is it a plant? Phylum, what does it fall into? Is it, does it have a backbone, does it not? So that'd be a chordata or not, um, and then Class, so if you picked in, um, a vertebrate, so something that has a backbone, does it fall under mammalia, uh, any of those ones, try and uh, order it the best you can. And then um, the last one, how well does it live in its environment? Uh, student described how its part helped it survive in its environment in full detail. So what I mean by that is, are you able to describe, like I did, why it has an, alu an, alu an, 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 an aluminum outer layer. It needs to have a reason. I don't want you just throwing stuff on here for no reason um, without having a purpose, right? If I were to just tack on, you know, maybe I were to glue um, a ball onto the back of it just to make it look cool, it needs to have a reason, right? Um, and it needs to be detailed, okay? Like I said, similar to number one, I'm not going to be looking for, you know, 10 pages on why it's, why it is the way it is, but it needs to have some description and I won't be super um, difficult on that, but it needs to have some description. So I'm expecting at least a page for um, your actual turn in, um, give or take a paragraph, okay? If you have any questions, please ask me over the course of this week. Um, I will be checking every day, seeing how you guys are getting on. Uh, but other than that, uh, good luck, and I will see you soon.